Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my friends, and welcome to another thrilling episode of Maggie Diaries. Today is going to be a wonderful episode because we'll be cooking an amazing king of soup. But hold on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's time to introduce our guest for today. Please welcome Hasia. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? I'm very good. Thank, thank you thank so you. much for joining us. Thank you for having me today. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, so. As you can see what's on my table now, yes. can you take a guess as to what we are cooking? Well, I'm seeing okra, I'm seeing fish, and I'm seeing um, crabs, so I'm guessing seafood. Yes, and I know that you are an entrepreneur, you know, in construction. Yes. So you're going to be telling us how building food is related to what you do as well. Yes, I will. <laughs> it's draw soup that is heavy on protein found in water and best goes with swallow. On today's episode, friends, we'll be cooking seafood okra. That's a meal worthy of its name, right? Yes, sure. It's time to go on a quick break, and when we come back, we'll start cooking. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries, everyone. To make seafood okra, we are going to be using, of course, the star of the show, okra, fish, crabs, prawns, calamari, scotch bonnet, ground crayfish, onions, insuka pepper, palm oil and gari for our eba, then maggi crayfish. Let's just get right into it. We are going to make this okra in a special way. Maybe half of it, we are going to like slice it for the crunchiness of okay. the soup. And then the other one, we're going to grate it finely. That's what we need to make the soup draw. Can you tell me how you can determine which okra is fresh and which one is not? You know how sometimes you get an okra and yes. it is very fibrous. How can you tell which one would cut really nicely and which one would not? I get to know when I'm grating it, so that's it's when you mostly know. as shafts. So which one do you want? Do you want to grate or do you want to cut? I'll grate. I know you are into construction, right? Yes. What I kind am. do you do? I'm into real estate. Okay. Interior design. Oh, so and you build. This is what I was saying. Oh, that is fibrous. A nice tip to know is that for you to know whether your okra would work fine or not is to take it and, you know, snap you it at the Can tip. you see when it snaps, that means it will be good. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Yeah. Then is that the big? Okay, yeah, that is perfect size. Building mostly just works like cooking, I yeah. would say, because we do it in phases. And without going through the faces, you don't get your final product. Just yeah. like a well-cooked meal at the end of the day. That's really beautiful. It just goes to show how in this life, everything is interconnected and yes. interrelated. What's yes. your favorite thing about this holy month of Ramadan that you are in now? Well, for me, Ramadan is just my favorite month, actually. And it's everyone's favorite one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I love it so much because it's the only time where you have no excuse mm -hmm. to give that time to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. More rewards during yes, the month. Yes, and just make the most of it and we boost your Iman in general. Yeah, may Allah make it easy for us I and mean, accept our act of ibadah. I mean, we're almost through. I put my own diced okra here. Okay. I'm just going to mix this one here together as well. Thank you. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is put palm oil in the pot. We are going to be measuring in our palm oil. We do not want to use too much because we want to keep it healthy and mashallah. Mashallah. Do you think seafood okra is the most sought out soup in the country? For me, I'm a big fan of it, so I wouldn't know about any else. I love seafood a yeah. lot. So Amazing. I'm just going to wait for that to get hot. Not too hot, because yeah. I want to like make sure the onion fries simple and easy. Yeah. I think we are good. 
and then I'm going to add just a little bit of onion. You know, there's a little controversy about not using onion. Oh, you know that? Yeah. About not using onion in soup, but I still want all my flavors to come together. Have you made this kind of soup before? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Let me put scotch bonnet inside. Do you like plenty pepper? Should I add everything else inside? I'm a big pepper fan. Ah. <laughs> Lots of my guests are not afraid of pepper on the show. I love it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to add the crayfish now. And I'm just going to like stir that together so that it will cook and the flavors can release. Can you help me with one Maggi crayfish, please? This works very fast. So like in five minutes, we are almost going to be ready. Thank you. So I just put in one tablet of Maggi crayfish. Okay, let's add lots of water into the soup. That is going to be the base for our soup. Okay. I'm going to add in the prawns. Before I prepared all the ingredients, I'd already parboiled the seafood. Okay. It's always good to blanch them so that you can use it to wash it, all the impurities okay. out. So that's already been done. Already, you know, put it straight in hot water, then remove it so that it okay. will stop cooking. Yeah. And, oh wait, do you want it whole in the seafood or do you want us to cut it up? I think it's better we cut it. Yeah, let us have calamari rings. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to put the crabs in here. And I'm just going to wait for the water to boil. Since you didn't cut the okra then, so you, you are going <laughs> no to cut the calamari. No problem. Yeah, it's a little bit slimy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Do you know the nutritional benefit of the seafood okra that we're making today? Um, no. It's rich in protein. The okra is rich in vitamin A. The palm oil as well is rich in vitamin A. And it is also filling as well. The water has come Creams. to boil now, so I'm just going to add in the calamari. Okay. Which one is your best seafood? Like, you know, there are different kinds. So which one do you like the best? Crap. I love prawns, so you just put it in your mouth and that's all, especially if the shells have been removed. I don't want to stir it too much because I don't want the fish to fall apart. Okay. We're just going to let that boil for a while. We're going to add the okra and we're basically done. <laughs> what other thing do you think you would add to this soup? Um, yes. Oh, what is it? <laughs> Smoked fish. I'm a big oh, fan. Oh, <laughs> uh, that, that's true. That's true. But we yeah. already have crayfish inside, so we still have that taste in there. Yeah, sure. And because we use maggi crayfish as well, we have something in our soup that is going to, to elevate the taste. That. Yes. So I'm just going to check on my fish. Okay. It's looking good already. <laughs> well, you know one thing I will also add to my okra soup? Uziza leaves. Okay. That gives it another taste as well. The okra is what we're going to add in last and then we use another Maggi crayfish as a finisher okay. because we didn't marinate the seafood at the beginning. As you mean we marinated the seafood at the beginning, just one tablet is okay. While our fish is cooking, our yeah. seafood, I have time to ask you a question okay. so that we can just go right ahead with our meal. What is the fruit that Prophet Muhammad Wasallam is best known for breaking his fast with? Dates. And that is what all of us emulate. Yes. <laughs> so my hair it's actually very nutritious and yeah. has a lot of benefits. Yes, because you know the right. sugar in the dates, the fiber in the dates, yes. it's very good for your digestive system. So I'm just going to add in the okra now. sliced and grated because we need the sliced one to add the crunchiness to it and the grated one to provide the draw. I'm just going to okay. gently fold it into the water because I really don't want my fish to break. While I've added that, I'm just going to add the Maggi crayfish cube. To seal up the seasoning. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the taste. So it will work for the okra, it will work for the, the seafood as well. I'm going to leave it um, uncovered because okay. we don't want it to boil over into the pot. So I'm just going to boil the water that we're going to use to make the eba. Okay. And then I'm going to turn this off right now. The okra does not need to cook for too long. You know it's a vegetable yes. as well. Exactly. You need it fresh. The water is, oh, it's already, okay. It's already like getting Get, hot and then we're going up. to make the eba. But we are going okay. to go on a quick break. When we come back, our eba will be ready. Our iftar will be plated and ready to be consumed. Splendid. <laughs> You know how I mentioned that one thing I will add into my soup is yes. uziza, so I'm just going to add it into it. Yes. So I carefully fold it. I want some leaves inside. Sorry, you don't have dried fish. <laughs> no problem. That's okay. fine. I've also already made a, but let us just pack up the rest into okay, so. our iftar bowl. Let me 
plate it. Do I cut it? No, let's cut it after we put the eba inside it. Okay. Okay, now we can cut it. Okay. All right. Yes. What's your favorite thing to break your fast with? Firstly, just fruits. Fruit. Oh, what kind of fruit? Mm, dates and orange. Oh, do you know the thing about um, Ramadan for me? Whenever I start smelling orange, it just smells like Ramadan. You know, you yes. know exactly because you're smelling it's orange. Like premium fruits for Ramadan. I, I know that's what a lot of Nigerians use in breaking their fast. Yes. Okay, so my eba is ready. Let us just clear up this place. Okay. We are basically all set for iftar. Now that our eba is set and our okra is also set, we are going to go on a quick break. And when we come back, our iftar is going to be ready and served. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. And welcome back. As you can see, our table looks really colorful. Sure Are you excited to dig in? I'm so very much excited. This is my <laughs> first have... time eating. <laughs> Let's have some dates, inshallah. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. What is the kind of favorite dates that you like? Is it, is it the soft one That's or this hard one? I prefer the soft one. one all the time. Yeah. Bismillah. Bismillah. Yeah, thank you. Alhamdulillah. Our feast is prepared and awaits your indulgence. If Tar promises to be a culinary delight when you recreate this flavorful dish for your family, wouldn't you agree? Be sure to share your experiences with us on our social media platforms once you recreate this and our other recipes as well. We've come to the end of this delightful episode of Maggie Diaries. Until our paths cross again, goodbye for you. And remember, with Maggie, everyone is welcome to Iftar. Mm -hmm.